Hi, this is Mo Godbeer. I just thought I'd show you some of the work I'm doing at the moment. Um, I'm doing some of these small canvases again, um, like the window series. And these are sort of blues and oranges, which are, I really like the colour combination. So I've got those on the go, those ones. And I've put a bit of black Japan, the lines in it, that's black Japan, there, sort of thing. And there, no, that's not it. <laughs> that's a hole. Um, here, there. It's quite. It makes a really shiny, shiny uh, effect on there. And these are the other ones I'm doing. These are um, sort of the turquoise and orange again, but a bit lighter. And I've done some lines on them in black Japan. Something a bit more. A bit, squiggly line sort of thing, a bit more kind of oriental I suppose. So I've done that. So I'm doing them in sets of three. So that's the third one that goes in that series. So those ones. And I started these new ones. I just thought, oh, I'm fed up with those colours and that sort of, I was using this, this uh, mesh thing that I found at the shops it was actually what you put in the bottom of your sink to use as a drainer or something so I've been using that which gives that this sort of yeah those circular effects there when you spray over them and I found this peg basket which you put it all together and it makes a peg basket and I thought oh that's got an interesting shape so I used that on these which are different colours. So, hold on. Those ones I've started with that mesh, and they're a bit like the window series again, just different shapes, and I think that's, they're a bit, you know, makes it interesting again to me. Sort of spurs my interest again in this. So, I've done those sort of. That's a rose madder and like a, oh, it's like an iridescent kind of creamy yellow and I spray painted them with a green. So there's an orange in there. I'm not sure I've got too many colours there yet, but um, okay. These were the paintings I was showing you earlier. Um, I'm just about to put some more colour on these because I like them to be, the colours to be a bit more vibrant on these ones. Um, just going to have a go with these these three at the front and I'll show you what they look like when I just put some paint on because I can't hold the camera and paint at the same time actually I should get the camera, the tripod out but at the moment it's packed over in the corner um, I'll just do that and then I'll show you okay, I put a bit more orange on and uh, I think they're popping a bit more they look a bit more vibrant now which I'm, that's sort of the look I'm looking for um, I actually forgot <laughs> about the videoing, I <laughs> got engrossed in the work and I forgot. Um, I'll show you these other ones I'm doing, this is how I got it. So these other ones with these, the different colours that's sort of, these are different to what I usually, uh, the colours that I usually use. I just thought I'd try and give some other colours a, a go. And um, I got a bit sidetracked with those, thinking about what I was going to do. So. I forgot to video <laughs> but anyway I'm just waiting for the paint to dry on these now and then I'm going to add some more layers to these so look at the state of that oh my god big mess all my stuff there well this is my only little art space see I've got that set of drawers there where I keep some stuff and then I've got that cupboard that is the extent of my art studio uh, I've got my easel up and I'm using that as a table because my table's full up of stuff but anyway yeah there's all my things paint palettes and I also make jewelry in here so I've got some of those drawers are actually full of jewelry so it's not all paint stuff so I don't have to feel too bad but yeah all of that under there canvases and artworks for TAFE and things that I've got for college and look under there 
paintings coming out of my ears. Paintings. I have to have a tidy up in here. Um, there is my little dog. There you go. My little old schnauzer. He's pretty cute. Anyway, that's him. That's Bob. I named after Bob Marley. Anyway, yep. Yeah. And there's some more. Look, more, 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 more artworks. Another bag full of stuff. And paintings over there. Actually, I'll show you those. Hold on. And um, I've got them on my Red Bubble site. If you go to Red Bubble and look for Mo Godby, they're on there. Um, these are for a project I'm doing at TAFE as well. It's to do with satellite mapping. So this is kind of sort of looking at um, the Earth from a satellite. You know, I've got a book called Above the Earth, which is an absolutely fantastic book. And every page is like uh, an abstract painting. Anyway, so I'm doing that, and then I'm sort of rubbing. Well, so that's beeswax encaustic painted onto the canvases, and then I'm rubbing acrylic paint onto the top of that. And because uh, it, uh, encaustic's like an oil, you know, mixed with oil paint, so the acrylic doesn't actually mix with the oil paint underneath, and the paint actually splits. I don't know if you can see that there. How it's I've rubbed acrylic paint into the top and it sort of splits and breaks which I think kind of gives the look of that sort of um, you know like the earth looking through the clouds and things that's one and then I've got this one mm, it's a bit, sorry it's night time and the lights not very good in here um, so there's more the turquoise is the acrylic paint that I rubbed into the top it's quite, it's, they're really, really colourful actually. And the last one of these mini ones I did, I've done a big one as well, is that one, which is there, that's really colourful. So, yeah, is there. It's um, sort of looking, you know, down perhaps on a sea with land. There are some really lovely parts in it that I... I'm really happy with some areas that are I just like the depth and layer of layers of color that I've got into it like oh there it's just like that color you get in the ocean you know when you're looking into the sea sometimes and it's so blue and you know especially here in Australia I mean not so much in England where I come from but you know it's it's really I'm really happy with that how it came out so that's that one and I did some others the other day where I rubbed a lot more paint into them I'll just put that down there and you can see um, I rubbed some enamel paint into those white enamel and then you get that cloud sort of effect and the other one I did was this one which is quite and then you can polish them and they become quite shiny because it's beeswax I don't know if you can see that as I said the lights not very good in here at the moment because it's night time ooh spooky shadow of me there we go um, yeah and the other thing I did oops sorry um, is sort of like a, an enamel pour so I'm sort of trying to get that effect again over there, you know, satellite looking down on the earth. I don't know if I'm happy with it or not really. I put some uh, black Japan in there as well and different colours. I don't know. I don't know if it's... it just seems a bit too simple for me. I'm, I don't know. I think I need to do something else to it. One I did was that one with the um, wax as well. It's really, if you can, I don't know if you can see, it's really shiny. But the idea was take all above the earth and um, oh, it's such a lovely book. I saw this in the bookshop and I just had to have it. I, just, I think it's just fantastic. Every page is just incredible. You know, well, that's what I was aiming for, this sort of look of the land and the colours. Um, really in an incredible book just incredible I think it's amazing 
So every page, really, virtually every page you could do an abstract painting for because they're all